Hello and welcome to Flory Models Quick View Time. Today we've got ICN's latest release. This is the Bristol Boatport Mark 1A with the tropical filters. Obviously, it's one for North Africa. And to be honest, the reason I actually got this kit. So we have seen other versions of it, but this is the Trop one. And I intend to build this one because I've got a real itch I need to scratch. And that's to do something in sort of North Africa, uh, Mediterranean markings with the sort of, you know, the stones with the azure blue underneath as well. So I thought, I'll tell you what, we'll do a review of the kit as well. So as you can see, Nice bit of box art, as always, from ICM, right the way through. Proudly saying it's made in Ukraine, and obviously with all the problems they've been having over the last uh, year and a half now, that, uh, yeah, it's bless them that it's still going. So anyway, usual thing, there's nothing really on these boxes, apart from we've got your options down in here. And again, you've got some quite nice ones. Uh, you've got the sort of green and greys, you've got the grey and greys, and then obviously you've got the midstones with the sort of grey underside, uh, or you've got the Azores blue as well. So you have got some nice options down in this one. Kit number for this one, you can see it's 48311. So as always with ICM, it's a box within a box. So we're just through the little slots here. One second. All right. Last one. There we go. So we will be greeted by, if I can get it out, because I see I'm always make these damn near impossible to get out in one piece without destroying the box. In the box within a box, you are greeted by. There we go. Really very nice. So, a couple bags. Sorry, one bag actually, put it all in, which we'll look at in a moment. All right, but as always, we will start on the old instructions. So, we've got color call outs. Obviously, ICM now doing paints, which as we know, I think are Vallejos, if I remember rightly, uh, right the way through. So, we've got Revel and Tamiya call outs for those, but again, they're pretty much standard ones on this. A little bit of bump on it. We've got our decal sheet, which we'll have a proper look at in a moment. So we've got screw call outs just down on the bottom here, right the way through. Obviously there's a few we won't be using for different versions. As we say, we've seen other versions of this one before. But generally it's pretty much standard ICM, which you've got everything in a basic form, shall we say. So we've got all the internal, which as you can see, running right the way through here. Showing it in great detail. Got a wing spar system, going to be going through this one as well with then obviously all the bulkheads. We've got decals if you want to, which make up the actual instrument panels down on this one. And then obviously those being put in place. Then obviously we've got the front pilot, obviously sits central to this. Um, you know, it's quite a, a slinky plane at the end of the day. And then obviously you've got sort of navigator behind and the gunner. And then obviously you've got the bomb uh, aimer at the front. A couple of holes to open up, things like that, right the way through. And then obviously getting all the details in before you bring the two halves together. Nice piece of glass on this one, so it actually covers right the way over that entire front. And then obviously we've got some of the guns down in here on the front being fitted through. So this is the waist guns being fitted on here. And then obviously all the glass work making up. So it's multi-part glass around the front, as you might imagine. So, you know, as I always say, treat yourself to a mask set. All right. And then obviously we've got different types of uh, flaps on this one you've got the ones with the little tails off the back of them and the normal straight one we've got the ailerons being fitted and then the wingtip uh, light system being fitted down on there which i should be a clear part it's opening up holes exactly the same for the other half and then tail planes being fitted down onto this one and then the wings going along and again nice big wing spar holding all that together which is nice then obviously we've got the tail planes being fitted onto this one or the elevators, I should say, down at the back here, being fitted onto this one. And then we've got the rudder, we've got a couple of lights being fitted down there on the back. And then we've got the engine, the cell set being put together, which looks all very nice indeed. Then you've got the gear, so pretty straightforward. You've got all the gear going down onto that one. So over here, we've got the engine. And like we always say with ICM, or I say with ICM, it gives you everything you need. So you can just add some wiring to it, a little bit of photo etch, or you could go down probably the aftermarket route and upgrade the engine as well. But it's really nice, straightforward. Uh, out of the kit uh, that gives you just about enough I think you need so if you've got covers open things like that a little bit of detail a little bit of wiring and you're good to go so that's nice anyway engines being installed onto those there's your covers right the way over so you can display those on or off obviously on both sides and then down in here you've got the rear gunner's position or the mid upper gunner I suppose he'd be so there we go that's the housing and the fairing put in there and then obviously with the guns the gun rings and then obviously we've got the clear part being fitted on the back and then the final bit with the two guns on the nose obviously being fitted down in there on the uh, the clear part then underneath here obviously we've got the the bracing and the various bits and pieces down in here for the actual weaponry underneath in the bomb bay and a few little bits being fitted down into there 
and obviously you can do it doors open or closed so you can close it up if you want to do and just have it normal or you can fit it down there with a torpedo if you wanted to pop it in there with that one and then down in here you can show it with the doors being open with the torpedo fit down in there and the various last bits and pieces being added aerials things like that down onto here so again very very nice nice little touch with this one we get a little cradle as well so if you did want the torpedo uh, system perhaps next to it ready like it's going to be loaded up and things like that there we go you've got all of those parts down which is included in the kit as well another nice touch like we were saying with this one you've got the masking templates where you get it with icm now really really nice so it's easy enough you just get your tape strip it out, pop it down onto this, and then obviously you can use it as a mask uh, set and then cut around onto your tape and then transfer it onto your model just like that if you wanted to. So color callouts, all the rest of it down in here, we've got one down. This is Malta 1942 with the Azores blue, the gray and the green on the top. And then obviously we've got the gray and the green right the way over this one as well, which is just saying it's in the Mediterranean 1942 as well. And then obviously we've got these ones down in here, uh, which is uh, they're thinking it's in the Indian region as well. So this one has got the sort of gray underneath with the midstone on top, obviously with the uh, Pacific Theatre markings onto it. Or you've got this one down in here, which is the training one is in Egypt which is probably the one I'm going to be going with. And again, so again, you've got the nice sort of midstones down in here, the torpedo bomber variant, as you might imagine, and obviously with the Azor blue underneath. So it actually looks very nice indeed. Colour callouts, obviously pretty much standard all the way through for those. And the decals look usual ICM, very nice, good, clean, nicely in register. And I think very, very nice colours as well. So at least they've got the white uh, markings down in here and haven't gone with the sky option like certain other companies did. But yeah, that looks very nice. Good, clean decals with all of those. So we've got one jumbo bag just down in here. So down in there, it's got a couple of loose bits on the gay on the way. So we've got engines and stuff. So starting off with, we've got the main uh, parts down in here, as you can see. So we've actually got, sorry, I just need to move that out of the way a bit. So we've got the main fuselage sections. And like we said before, when you look at these, there's no mass detail. You've got very fine recessed details on here, a couple of lumps and bumps. There is no riveting and all the rest of it. But to be honest, it's pretty straightforward to go in and do it. It's nice and smooth all the way through. On the interior, which is really nice, you've got, you can see the ejector pins, but they are literally flush so very very little work needed to repair them but obviously we've got all the framework we do get a panel as well which is going to fit in here to blank that off as well so that's very nice and the tail wheel area is done so that's very good we got the wings over here and again same thing could do with a little bit of riveting if we're honest but generally straight off the bat i think they're very very nice you've got nice detail got these raised panels on here as well right the way through and i think with a little bit of riveting work just over the top with the riveting wheel that will make that absolutely pop and come to life no problem at all same goes with the other side as you can see you've got all the panel lining and again we'll just get some rivets in there not a lot of detail but obviously the detail is added to the wheel well a little bit later on so that's very nice clear parts we'll look at last all right that's the reason the engines are all coming off down in here because we got this screw here along with this one so again we've got both of these here so this one we've got the torpedo which we'll have a look in a second and then this one down in here you can probably see all the details got engine work bits and pieces down in there obviously some of the engines have fallen off on me got the guns which unfortunately got a few little droopy barrels you wouldn't worry about that. All right. And generally, spinner, prop looks nice. Wheels look nice. Tires look nice. Yeah, very good all the way through. We've got no eject pins inside the wheel wells, which obviously is always a, a good point. And to be honest, no real problems around the main gear and stuff like that. As you can see down in here, looks very nice, clean, sharp, very, very detailed. Here's that torpedo. I'll see it's a little bit depending on obviously which one you're doing, but it does come with the kit. So you've got the trolley for it, the torpedo itself and all the parts so that's quite nice next up we've got the other engines this is a direct uh uh copy of the other one so we've got two of those which we will look at and then down in here this is for the uh mid upper gunner and the aerial so this is specific to the trop one because we've got the trop filters down in here and things like that so as you can see very nice indeed no problem with that then we've got the engines 
uh, covers. We've got the cowlings, the various bits and pieces. We've got the tailplanes, the elevators, things like that by the looks of it, and some of the internal details just here. That's very good. And then again, moving around on the close-up. Looks pretty nice. Again, ICM obviously sometimes get a little bit of flack from being a little bit simple, but actually the details all there. Some of it's hidden because of the, the matte finish of the styrene they use. You can't see it as well as perhaps on a glossy set or anything else. But one thing with, with ICM I will say is that they're always very clean, sharp kits. You never get ejector pins inside Bombay doors or anything else like that. Really nicely done. Surface detail is all there. It's just that you might want to add a little bit of riveting to it. All right. So last up, we got obviously the main parts down in here for the interior. And again, looking all very, very nice indeed. So again, up here, these are those inner ones going to go in the inner fuselage half. We've got the engine, the cells down in there. I think this has got the tailplanes, got the wing spar system. This is the Bombay, obviously one piece closed up if you wanted to do it like that. Then we've got the flaps back there, some more of the bulkheads looking nice, the other wing spar. The nacelles, other parts, we've got the rudder, which looks very, very nice indeed. We've got that internal Bombay set as well, which obviously over here, again, there's a little bit of detail down in here. I think you say you could liven that up quite nicely. And again, inside the actual uh, wheel wells, we've got some framings, a few little jet pins, but again, incredibly flush. What's nice is down here on the back of the flaps, there's no eject pins in between each one, which we would see with said other companies as well. So generally, I think that's all very, very nice to say. We have got a few road parts, so we've got a little door here that's come away, all right? So just being careful with that. And then last up, we've got the clear parts. So the clear parts themselves. Again, ICM, really very, very nice with the clear parts. You can probably see how clear and crisp they are. Beautifully done. Sharp panelling on the surface, which makes, you know, masking quite straightforward, really, on this one. And then again, very, very nice indeed. These are these wingtip areas. Obviously, you'll mask that. It's not one giant light. It's got the, 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 you know, the, the bit at each end, if you like. So you'll go through with that one. But generally, very, very nice indeed. Again, I think it's a really very nice kit. I know we've looked at this kit before. This is the trot version. And again, now I've got it here, I'm even more hankering to give this a go. So this is kit that I'm definitely going to be doing as a video build in the near future. You might want to keep an eye out for. Anyway, there we go. That's ICM's 148 scale, both for Mark 1 Tropical.